Hey guys, I downloaded a new recording app on my laptop, so I am going to try this nifty thing out. Um, I'm now, what date am I on here? I'm not, uh, December 14th, alright. So we'll do December 14th here of these. I think this one is an IG Live. Alright, let's do this. So, you know, one of the challenging aspects for me is as a reporter, when I'm reporting <laughs> on things that involve people that other people love or that people are fans of, and I'm literally just trying to report, there's like this emotional like reaction that people have towards the report that I'm... You need to have qualifications to be a, record, a recorder. <laughs> to be a reporter, you need qualifications, correct? I'm also positive you actually need... Um, you need some college for that. So I would just call her a gossip channel. Making, And sometimes I feel like people get so overly emotional about the topics that you, that I report on. And that it's like, there's this weird thing that happens when you report on somebody that somebody else like loves and you are reporting something that they don't want to hear. There's like this very visceral reaction that happens for, for people when you reveal that to them uh, that the person that they idolized or looked up to maybe isn't perfect. You know what I mean? And when you have to reveal maybe un things that are just not, you know, who you thought they were or what they were, you know? And so it's, it's hard because I feel like I'm all like, I'm always balancing this, uh, this space with, you know, when I'm presenting you with whatever it is that I'm covering, um, making sure that I'm balancing, like that I'm being fair to whoever it is that I am covering, but rem remembering that like, you know, uh, just because I'm covering someone or covering a story, it's like, you know, that doesn't mean you're bullying someone. It doesn't mean that you're, uh, you're being an online bully. It literally doesn't because that's what I've done for years. I cover this kind of world. I've covered the Duggars for years. Nothing has changed. The only thing that's changed right now is that there is an increased microscope on the Duggars because of Josh Duggar's conviction. And because of that, there's this insular uh, sort of behavior that's happening from people that really love the Duggars that don't want to accept what's happened. And so you get like this pushback from people uh, when you tell them, oh, this is something that happened or this is something that didn't happen. But when you have this sort of... Uh, no, no, it's not about Amy. It has nothing to do with Amy. Oh my goodness. No, uh, nothing about Amy. So what I just basically heard was her saying that it's okay for KJ to criticize people and KJ to tell the truth if you don't even want to hear it about people. Um, that's what I'm hearing. She's allowed to criticize but nobody's allowed to criticize her. That's what I'm hearing. Correct me if I am wrong. I gotta find a way to speed this chick up. Uh, nothing about Amy. I'm actually talking about people that are fans um, of the Duggars. We can um, see these uh, tweets so now. So it's more like when you have revealed a truth about someone that they didn't want to have, or that you are uh, revealing something about someone that they, like, they didn't want to know. Like, they didn't want to know Don't poop this the messenger. Fact, or they didn't want to know <laughs> this truth. And so you start, uh, like, going, okay, like, all right, I understand you didn't want to have that truth. You didn't want to have that fact. Um, but I'm not really I listening to her. Sorry, I'm actually looking at the saying, comments. You shouldn't report this then I become biased to the uh, sort of the image that you have created in your mind of what you want that person to be. And my job is not to report someone based upon what you want them to be. My job is to report based on what the facts are going on. Okay, but way. you need to keep and this that's, that's challenging. same mojo for yourself so here. you have an idea about someone. You and can't talk like I this and expect people not to reality, report on you. That's where It'd be the same for me, really right? Emotional in the if someone's going to say, well, 
you know what, that Nikki chick, she's nothing but a hater. Clearly she hates KJ, she hate watches her, and that's all she's about. She's, she does nothing but talk about KJ with no facts, no this, no that. You know what, I'm going to have to take it. If that's how they feel, that's how they feel, and everyone is entitled to their own opinion. thing that KJ doesn't understand, actually, I think she understands, it's more of a, what is that saying? I'm going to screw it up, so I'm just going to say, she can do things, but others can't. We'll just go with that. Only say, um, I'm saying this just because, like, I'm noticing that people are getting really charged up in comments lately, and I don't know what that's about. I am not really sure why people are so maybe you're screwing up the facts up right now. I don't know if it's the conviction. Uh, I don't know if it's the frustration that people are feeling. I don't know. People are just very, very charged up, and it's creating. Um, just a lot of people sort of like fighting in the comments and I'm not used to that. Uh, <laughs> yes, you are. No, this is not about Laura and Jana fans. I don't know what that, I don't even know what that's aware of either. This, <laughs> it's literally just about what's happening in my comments. Literally, that's all I'm talking about. You know, like that's all I'm talking about. I'm not talking about any one person like it. I like how we can see their comments. I just love it when she gets chewed out because she deserves it. If it was about one person, I would say it's about this person. You know, it's like right now she's being snooty. I don't like it. Oh, hello, Tristan. It's it's more just uh, about in comments. I'm not used to my comment sections being. This person so says, "Will you reveal your source like, one day?" That energy. I'm curious. When I'm just no, trying to she won't. questions. Actually, she, like, you never oh know with her. Gosh, like ah, uh, ah. Uh, So, anyways, there is a... Someone goes, Mamas says, please get vaccinated. I want to be healthy. <laughs> a lot going on. I will, I don't, uh, I will never reveal my sources. There's way All these ass kissers need a wake up call. I don't know why they're talking about vaccines, to be honest. <laughs> I knew she was going to bitch. Okay. I guarantee that person just got blocked. Yeah, they. I. I think they do. Part of that is they have their favorite Duggar or whoever One person it was. In says the you got trolls on here. I don't see any trolls. And so honest. you're like, okay, I have been. This person has been my favorite for 20 years or however long it's been. And so then you have to reconcile that loss if that person isn't who you thought they were. And I, you know, listen. The only thing that I can say and the only, like, the only advice I have for any single person that follows, you know, shows or reality TV or whatever it is, is that every single person um, that you watch is a person. They're not uh, huh? perfect. Every person has a past. They all Every make person mistakes. you watch isn't a person? Um, they all have different uh, complicated facets in their lives. And they also have... Some of them have ugly aspects, you know, ugly truths that they don't want you to know about or just details that they don't, they want to keep hidden. But I've spoken to people. So there's a lot of people that I speak to around the Duggars. It's not like one person. And I really hope you guys understand that when I say sources, there's a lot of them. Like every day there's new people and they're always verified. And they're always, I am always making sure that everything that I report to you is cross-checked and double-checked and I can like... That's a full-faced lie. <clears throat> I'm telling you, there is no way in hell that she does cross-referencing and she, you know, dots all her I's and crosses her T's and double-checks to make sure this information is correct. That is a lie. It's been a proven lie. She literally gets a bug in her ear and she just goes live. She doesn't give a shit about who she hurts. That, that is KJ. That it's going to happen or it's, it is likely the truth. I don't want to ever report something and be like, that is such like a wild rumor. So uh, that's, you know, it takes a lot of work. And the reason why we've been so in the Duggars right now is because there's this press right now, okay? So this is kind of 
when Josh was convicted, I just want to explain this to you because you don't get to see what I deal with on a daily basis and you don't really get to see the people that I'm talking to every day. I mean, my literal inbox I wish is people would stop talking, talking about her makeup, about how it's incredible because it's not going on point or around them daily because this case has been so massive. When I tell you that there's been a lot of people that have been affected I hope you by get Jim paid Bondo, for this, someone says. It's not an under, it's not in, it's not an exaggeration. Um, when I tell you that there's been a lot of people hurt by Jim Bob Duggar's lies to them about Josh Duggar and that um, buzzing was the, my dryer telling the me lies that he told my about the daughters and, and the lies that the daughters went through. It's not an it's not an exaggeration for me to tell you that a lot of people have a lot of deep hurt. And there's also been a lot of people that have been silenced for a very, very, very long time. Like the Duggars had such a powerful platform and for so long, no matter what these people that had been hurt by the Duggars said, like nobody believed them. So there was people that were like screaming and pounding and trying to get the network's attention and they were trying to tell anyone that would listen about what was happening in the house and like nothing, they couldn't make any headway. Like they were trying to let TLC know constantly, like this is happening in the house, this is, these are the realities. There's corporal punishment. There's blanket training. Um, the kids have no rights. They, the kids have no freedom. The kids are being heavily controlled and heavily monitored. The kids aren't being paid. These were the things that people were trying to like advocate for to the network and like no one. Why that when I I'm so busy watching the comments. I know. <clears throat> Cause I always, never get to see them. So I think it's better if I just go on my laptop, that way we can see them. And then please tell me if it's better to watch um, her small like this, or if you like it up close and personal. I'm just doing it so that we can all read the comments because I never get to see them. And there's a lot of times where she hides them or she deletes them. And some people have some really good points. And I'll be honest, I want so, to like, see someone tell her off. I think it would be fun. Jim and Bobby, they had been silent, was, was listening to them. Like, like they were contacting Discovery. They were contacting TLC. Like no one was listening to them. And so it's now the, the conviction has happened, right? And with the trial, there was people in the trial that were able to have their voices heard for the first time for a very long time. So like, the, the Holtz, um, Jim and Bobby, they had been silenced for years um, about what was going on. They Someone's saying, can everyone just you know, be respectful and listen? I'm not seeing tell anything bad what's in the going comments. On. Um, this idea that they didn't do enough, I just, I don't buy that because I listened to the testimony. I've read everything that she said. Her sister follows me. I actually talked to her sister today, um, by the way. Um, her sister has been active on my page today trying to get people to go out to vote against Jim Bob today. Um, I've commented on, on Bobby's page and I've had some like back and forths with Bobby. Like, do I agree with everything that Bobby and Jim Holt espouse in their politics? No, but, right, but um, that doesn't mean they're not, their voice and their uh, whatever they're going through doesn't matter, right? I hope she doesn't turn comments off because so they're a hell of a lot more these interesting are people than her. That were literally there that had experiences, right? And that were hurt by the Duggars. Then oh, Tristan said he wants to apologize. <clears throat> Anybody know who Tristan is? If so, let me know in the comments. I have no clue. Can you apologize to me? Yes, Tristan, you can apologize. I certainly didn't um Okay, yeah, other people don't even know who that is. Who's Tristan? I didn't take it personally, sweetie, when you... Tristan was getting a lot of hate, and he thought that I had directed hate towards him. Tristan is a friend of the Duggars. You probably did. I did not direct any hate towards Tristan. Tristan is friends with Jed. Yes, I can guess you. My heat's loud, eh? That's what that noise is. 
Loma Girl says, this sweet boy Tristan needs to stay well away from KJ. It worries me so much what she might do. I agree. I don't like anyone talking to her. I get so just worried that it. just the backlash and everything. Hello? Oh, Hi, no, Tristan. you are not on hey. her. Sorry. Tristan shows back up. <sighs> and I will add him. Right as I was trying to add Tristan, like, my whole connection just, like, crashed. Okay. Works. I feel bad for this. I kid. just tried it. Hello? Somebody just Hi, said, Tristan. you just named your hey, source. Sorry, I look so Tristan right is a source. No, I am like, literally, I am so sorry about the other day. Um, it's just, I had a lot of people come at me for something I didn't understand about. Like, I really didn't know nothing that's going on. I just go over there, you know? Yeah. And, like, I found out through my parents about the whole situation. And so, after, like, I had people, like, DM me and was like basically who you know just like they call me a predator because what? of it I was like you don't understand like trust me I've been in the same situation sorry I stutter a lot by the way I've been in the same situation and um like I've dealt with things like that and I don't like me personally I don't think that it's okay hello everyone um but me personally I don't think that um it's it's all right to do that. Yes, I do agree on you with that, but I just didn't like how people was, you know, just coming at me, even if they wouldn't even let me talk to them. When I tried to explain to them uh, my opinion on it, I got blocked yeah. before I did it. And so it just got me to the point where I was just like, it may really just mean how much she can't sit really still. upset about it because I shouldn't be going through that. Like, she's not like stop moving. I told other people that text me about the situation. I'm a college student. I don't really worry about other people's stuff. You know, I just stay to myself. But I like I was like I was stressing through my final because of the whole situation. Yeah. But, you know, I just thought of just, you know, being a bigger person about it and not even like worrying about it. Are you? St yes, I'm still friends with Jed. I don't know who that is, but. But I just I'm the type of person like I'm. I stay to myself. I don't know, like, if there's been, like, videos of me at their house or anything, but I am, I'm a quiet person. I do not like a big group of people. I, I hope to God she doesn't do anything to this person. She always does, though, every freaking I source. surround myself, like, in a small place at their house. I don't, Yeah. I don't like, you know, in a, a big group. And I'm still working on it because Jet's helping me out to be talking. Yeah. Like I don't, I'm really, really shy. It's kind of blurry. Damn. Sorry, I'm stuttering. I don't know if you're way. involved in the IBLP, but try to stay out of that. I I literally don't even know what's all going on. I just I just found out like not even. Did they tell you ago. anything about this happening? Huh? Did they tell you anything about this going on? Mm -mm. Well, no. Nope. So they this blindsided you, I'm guessing. Well, I think they just didn't want me to um, get into it, you know, oh, you know, man. stop being friends with them because of the whole situation. Like, I, I really do care for them. Like, I love them a lot. Like, they're my second family because I grew up in a bad, like, situation, like, when I was younger yeah. and stuff like that. And so they, they actually very confused. been there for me. And, you know, it's just hard. I'm just, like, basically in the middle, you know? I'm not really sure what happened to them or why. Where, like, I don't, you know, I don't I mean, know what people do. in the chat are saying you deserve to know the truth because what he was doing was really serious. And if I had, if I was your mom, I would want to know, like, if I was sending my kid over to somebody's house, if I'm going to be sending my kid over to somebody's house that has a predator in their home. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's kind of a big thing that you, you know, but nobody was accusing you. And I think in general, they just didn't tell anyone. And that's not okay. Like... I think those are kind of things you should disclose to your friends. Yeah. I, I just, you know, as you can tell me and Jed are really good friends. And I honestly, I honestly, I don't feel like I could do anything without him because he's actually, you know, like he's been a good friend to me. Her Tristan needs to stop talking and get out of this chat. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's that person? Um, I don't know. I can't. So oh, much people we are, love you. Please get away from the Duggars, they said. Well, yeah, just, then there was one that said something about, like, 
I need to get out the chat. <laughs> I don't know the person, but. No, you don't have to leave the chat. Wow, Katie. Your subs are just amazing. <laughs> there could have been someone he could have talked to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> People are saying, like, be careful with this family. There's a lot happening right now. That's all they're trying to say. And they're also trying to say, like, this is a, they're, they're in a cult. So be careful. Like, don't get sucked into that. Yeah. But now do you understand um, my point of view about it? Yeah, no. And I didn't direct any of that to you. So I don't know why I got called out for it. I never mentioned anything. Uh, because, it, okay. So, like, the people that text me are from your page. Because, like, I followed them and they followed you. So I automatically assumed that I got directed at something. Oh, because no. it was just weird because like I posted something it's on like my story or whatever and <clears throat> I just you know I just had like people just blowing my phone up just blowing my phone up and yeah basically called me a monster a pedophile and I was like Jeez. I don't I don't support any of that like that's that's me I it's also don't vote so you don't gotta worry about me voting because I don't vote because I don't I just worry about myself you know like I'm I, just a no, college I mean, kid that I think there was a lot of anger towards a lot of people, but I certainly never brought your name up. I haven't even. Yeah, I, that's, that's why. That's why I wanted to. I don't know if she has brought really Tristan's name up, but um, I think if anybody knows happened, of her, uh, can you let me in the comments? Really week, because, because that's finals, my guess is why he's got hate. Stressing about everything, and plus that, that and, and I just felt I really bad because, because Jed, of the situation. Like I'm the type of person I'm really respectful, and I get to like I'm really friendly. She always brings the hate. I don't try to be mean to no one. Like, if I'm mean to someone, that's, like, rarely. Like, I I don't be mean at all. Like, that's just me. Yeah. And so, like, like you know, Jez just... Jez, just Jez... People doing huh? this stuff. I think, I don't know. Like, I would never encourage anyone to reach out to anyone and bother them. Um, yes, you all. would. And you have done so. Like, are you kidding people me? People are outraged, which is sad. Uh, I mean, it's indirectly everyone everyone affiliated with the Duggars is getting hate right now and that's certainly not fair yeah because um, it really it, it really do it really did hurt my feelings i my emotions he's so it, sweet he doesn't just, mean to be on this platform so i feel quick. so bad for him i hope the hate stops my god And I'm trying to like, break myself out of that shell, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I... It, it happens so quick because of my, my lifestyle. So, and I'm trying to like, break myself out of that shell, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I constantly, I do not like when people troll other people. I don't encourage that. Like, I mean, while people she's send the me messages troll there of, is. like, I sent this comment on somebody else's. I'm never, I never endorse that like i always tell people to like leave them alone don't be mean <laughs> to them like don't bully other people that's not my style at all yeah i'm sorry i'm laughing because she's so and I've always been at you, so i was like why are you mad at me tristan I've been... <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i just i just had a, a crazy week honestly i just haven't just a lot just right now and i i shouldn't have done that to you honestly Tristan, yeah. like, this is Tristan is Jed's friend. Okay, Tristan was uh, a, an usher in Jed's wedding, right? Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And Tristan and I—I I don't even know—around Jed's wedding. I think I he's started, biting like, his nails. He looks so nervous and stuff, and like he started following me. And so I guess last week, uh, a bunch of people were going into Tristan's like DMs or something, and like calling him a pedophile and a predator. And so then he got really upset, and he thought he thought it was coming from me. And that I definitely know wasn't it, coming for me because I like, didn't even talk about that, him. I know if it's and so he was like him. worried that I was like calling him a predator. And so he made a story on Instagram. And then he's just apologizing, saying that he realized now that I didn't do that. So I appreciate that. Yeah, I felt really guilty about it. <laughs> and I just thought it was best for me to apologize for my actions. Watch him be apologizing. And she actually did. I could have done this. It a lot better. I, I really could have. I didn't know about any of those. There's just going to be a lot of eyes at the Duggar's house, like a lot of government eyes. So uh, I would just, you know, be careful. That's, I think, what? all people in the chat are trying to say to you is just be careful. Like, that's it. Like, be careful. Mm -hmm. You seem like a good kid. 
you know. Okay, he's not doing anything Hell, illegal, I nor do I think he would. Um, and don't be scaring know, him thinking that. Have a better life than when I was raised in. Just try to stay positive, basically. Yeah. That's just me. I'm well, in school. I'm in college. That's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> you I thought it would be graduate like last year. Uh, no, I actually graduated this year, but I'm going back to school for um, for my uh, business. You graduated from high school last year or this year? This year, I I graduated from the college I was in this year, but I'm going back to school for to get my graduates. So, did or, you do you have your bachelor's degree already? I have my associates. Oh, you have your associates, and now you're going to work on your bachelor's. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's yep. awesome. That's what college, my point is. College is stressful. <laughs> and it's also when you're in finals, it's like you get into the final fog and like the final tunnel. Yeah, I thought, honestly, I thought finals would be just like high school. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I used I, to be in my for hours and hours and hours when I was doing finals. Yeah, my mom, um, she always check up on me about my finals. And, and I did pretty good. I would say I did pretty good for my final, but it could have been better. But I, I think it's all right. It's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. It's well, I am, I'm going to get off of here. I am truly sorry how I acted to you. <laughs> um, we could we could talk another time whenever I have time. Okay. I, it's about time for me to put my phone up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll see everyone. See y'all later, y'all. Bye, Tristan. Bye. I don't know how to... Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, that was Tristan. Um, he's a sweet kid. He's friends with Jed. Okay. Don't... Okay, that's that's just a good segue. It's kind of what I was talking about, is how emotionally charged up people are right now. So, people yeah, but if you did are, like, so emotional it. because of this verdict. And it's exposing things about this family that people didn't want to know about, or it's bursting their bubble. And unfortunately, there are people affiliated with the Duggars that are getting destroyed unfairly because of their connections. <laughs> Alrighty then. So she, what? KJ talks about how she spent hours studying. I don't believe her. Me neither. KJ, you are causing people to get harassed by naming who the associates and friends are of the Duggars by posting pics and naming them. You use this sweet boy and he apologized to you for something you call. <gasps> she fucking did. I knew it. God damn it. She. Oh, it's always because of her. The polls are closed. She said at 730. Uh, um. But you like, are you serious? Of course she opened her mouth. I don't know. I must have missed that video. Nobody I know posted it about her talking about him. See, that infuriates me because that is not, you don't do that. That's why that person said in her comments, you just outed your source. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is why people hate you. Holy crap. You're awful. You shouldn't be going after people's friends or anything like that. And um, he can be friends with whoever he wants to be. That's totally his right. Everyone has a right to say, be careful. You know, be careful. I, I think they, the polls are closed. Sick. She said at 730. So, yeah, don't send hate to people. It's awful how they're treating uh, Jana. Oh. A little late to be telling them not to send hate to people when clearly he's already been uh, harassed and bullied, thanks to you. Okay. Here's the thing about Jana, you guys. <laughs> and this was another thing that I was going to uh, talk with you guys about. Oh, here she goes blocking. Who knows why? I didn't even read the comment. Hold on a 
second. Sorry. Okay. Um, here's the thing. Jana got a citation for child endangerment. Okay. Meanwhile, and the last video. That citation is. She says uh, she got arrested. She was charged. She was going. To, oh my god. <sighs> Real. It really happened, and I was working on the. FOIA for the police report, which I was not able to get. Um, but what Janice said about what happened isn't true according to the reports, the court records, and the police report. So that's all I'm saying. Uh, just because you love someone doesn't, do I know the details? So what I've been told and what I know from the court records are the following. On September 9th, Jana was babysitting. She was not, Anna and Michelle were not there. So yeah, she named this I child too. I someone who knows all of the details. She better not do it again. So Jana was not, was home. She was babysitting and the, like Anna and Michelle were not there. She was babysitting. I know whose kid she was babysitting, but I'm not going to tell and I'm not going to say who. I'm not an idiot like her. I hope she doesn't say it again. And she was sleeping, apparently. Okay. And she fell asleep. Um, Got it. And while she fell asleep, one of the little ones, Josh's youngest at the time, wow, went outside. And was gone for hours. You're awesome, KJ. Hours, I was told. So they were at the house. And the little one ran, I don't even know, across the yard. Over by a pond. Up a hill. Over to another road. Okay. The child was found by themselves on she the road. <clears throat> not right in front of the property of the house. It was like three o'clock in the afternoon when this was all going on. Well, if you don't know, now you know and, it's Josh's kid, uh, youngest daughter. So I'm mom shaming is not happening. I'm literally just telling you guys what happened. Oh, horse shit. So when the child is up there, this witness finds the baby. At the time, I think she was like 21 months and three weeks. For 21 months and two weeks. Okay. She's far away from the house at this point for a toddler. I mean, she's a toddler. That's kind of like, if it was like an older kid, it wouldn't have been maybe a big deal, but this is a little toddler. So she's by herself and she's on this road by herself. And the, the person, she's trying finds to make this worse than what it herself, really was. You know that. And they try to figure out who the kid belongs to, where the kid is from. Um, okay. So they call the police and they stay, the person who finds the little one stays with them and the police come and they are like, this might be a Duggar. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just calling them a little one. Like, Really? Do you have to like tell me how to like say what I'm saying? This is so seriously. Why wouldn't okay. you just move past the comment and not be rude so, yourself? How about that? They find this little one. I mean, the toddler. I don't know what else you want me to call this. She's always been rude to her subs and she always will be. This chick ain't never gonna change. Anyways. Um, anyway. Back to all about I'm not, me. no. Stop Anyways, policing Katie, so please. They go. That's what Wig said. To the house. <laughs> and they see Jana. Someone says, Minnow, shut it. Or <laughs> they <laughs> ask <laughs> Jana. Exactly what I said. Don't read the comments. Is then. this someone from this house? Like, is this child with you? And apparently she denied that she knew the child to the police. So Jana told them she apparently didn't know, according to like this, I guess this is in the police report, that she didn't know the child and that no children were missing. 
And this was hours, hours apparently later. So I don't wow. know who the child her is. Subs? I don't know. Oh my God. Her subs are literally accusing Jana of day drinking. And now she, this one says, what is it? Brittany Gale says, my God, is she using drugs? Holy shit. These people are cruel. No one's missing. It was really Jana. It was really Jana. Uh, of course. Oh, so great. Now my phone's gone. She turned comments They off. were going to take her to the station. They just Damn wanted it. to interview her. No, Jana was just napping. No one said anything about Lauren. People are just. They're oh, your just... subs. Oh my gosh. I'm turning off comments. Of course. Take I'm going to turn off away. comments because people are taking me completely out of context. People are putting words in my mouth. I never said the name Lauren. I said nothing. I said Jana was sleeping. <laughs> I was told pe the police went to the house. I was told they knocked on the door. I was told Jan. You weren't told. To it was more like you read. They said, "Is this child yours?" Be truthful and I was for told once. That Jana allegedly denied that she knew the baby or she knew the child, and she allegedly told police that she oh, did not horseshit. know that child and that no child was missing. <laughs> the child at this point had been missing and out for hours. Whatever. Hours. So apparently she's asked by the police to go to the station to just talk out what's going on. And she agreed. And then apparently in the last minute, she decided I'm not going to go. So she agreed that she was going to follow them to the station. That didn't happen. She stayed back. She backed into the house and called her lawyer. And she always tries to make things worse than what they are. And I don't like that. Just tell this tell the story tell the truth not a story tell the damn truth turn the Please comments back Jana wasn't gonna talk to anyone about anything so what I was told was Might as well get her ugly it wasn't like a just screen. quick outside thing it was like the little girl had been gone for hours Look I was told she told the police she did not know who the child was I was told she told the police she was gonna go with them and then she backed the car back and decided not to go with them. And uh, then she brought the lawyer in and then the lawyer said that, that they weren't going to cooperate. And when that happened, they had no other choice but to cite her because had she just told the truth, she probably would have been able to get out of it. But the fact that she like, like I was told that she lied. And then she I don't that. said Why she was gonna go with them and then didn't go with them and, and lied about knowing the kid. Look the at kid her face over here. Yes. <laughs> But it wasn't like a situation where the kid just snuck out and it was like two minutes. It was, I was told, hours. Now, they have a right to, like, put out whatever they want about it. She wasn't arrested, I was told. Was <laughs> yeah, situation. you first said she That's was. That's correct. I was also told the DHS investigation is not closed. Um, um, per yeah, it is. I was also told that... Um, because I got the court records, like literally two days ago, I got the court records and the court records showed that there was an ongoing DHS investigation because they weren't <laughs> basically what the records stated is that certain parts of the case would not be released because of the ongoing DHS investigation and that investigation notes through the child maltreatment act of Arkansas. That's the act. I'm not saying I'm not the child was maltreated. that's just what the act is called. They wouldn't be releasing that information. So it had a corresponding case is what I was told. So I confirmed that that case was still going on. So it's not closed. Um, and the police report or the citation is also not closed. So she didn't take a plea deal. I confirmed that. Um, she pled not guilty. Um, she also uh, paid a fine, but it wasn't the fine for the charge. She has to go to, she has to, go to a bench trial in January where um, she'll just the judge will figure out what happened and they'll decide. Um, DHS's case is not closed though. So um, the, the, it's, it's, it's like, it's good that the little girl wasn't like hurt, right? Um, but, but it wasn't like a quick little thing and a little toddler out in a road you know, for hours by themselves. Just keep mentioning that, eh? For I hours. think it's just the wider issue here of that when people see someone that they really value and they really admire and that they uh, they do something that they believe is out of character for them, it's hard for them to accept. And what she did is not 
the end of the world, right? Yeah, but it's you not, make it seem like it is. Uh, the, the child is okay, right? Um, th- that doesn't make her a horrible person, right? Um, My God, so nobody scene. is saying, oh, Jana, we hate you. And oh, Jana, you know, like we, we all can empathize that she is being forced to be uh, doing the daycare. You know, like why is this all following, falling on Jana, right? Um, but she was supposed to. Be- is she serious right now? Are you serious? How many videos has she made about Jana? And she's basically calling her a bad mother without saying she's a bad mother. How she's gotten arrested, how she's going to be charged. Wow. And even till right now, she's saying, and the kid was out there for hours. And she keeps saying, the kid was out there for hours. Oh my God. To be the babysitter that day. She That's the truth. Like, she had agreed to do that and she fell asleep. So that's what we were told. Um, no, whether right. or not any more details will come out. I don't know. Right now there's not a gag order. I agree, uh, verified that. Um, there's no reason why the police report can't be released other than they decided not to. Um, oh yeah. She tried to get it. The I police report. She was told no. I forgot about Ponte that. Town had made the decision to not release it to anyone outside of Arkansas. And the not only reason I mentioned this you. is because they seem to pick and choose what they wanted to release. The court had no problem releasing the information. Like I literally She's put mad. in the FOIA. Doesn't like they knew I was out of state. They sent me over the information. I contacted the administrator at Tonti Town and I told them I was out of state. And they were like, here's how you can request it. They directed me to how to request it. And they're like, there you go. Like they knew ahead of time where I was requesting from. And there was a drop down on there that stated where I clearly stated that I was from out of state. So yes, they could deny the request, but they don't always. They can also not deny the request. Maybe some things are just kept private, So, KJ. because police, police reports report are public, public record. record. Anyways, that was only, that was kind of only my only point there. Was like... Yeah, she does not like to be told no. I'm glad she was told no, no though. She doesn't need to know everything. Case. Jim Bob does have connections with the Tonti Town Police. That was kind of my only, like, well, maybe they are trying to keep it quiet. I don't know. Um, there has been, Jim Bob did sue the city of Springdale about police reports being released. So that was my other question. Was, makes that Bob was my question. Was like, like, did he a, threaten to sue? And some powerful that wizard. Being, like a little gun shy here about not releasing this report, that kind of thing. That was, it wasn't like this implication that we're like, oh, like, you know, it was more like, well, they released these, but not this. And I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Not but really. again, me reporting that is literally just saying, this is what happened. This is what she said happened. This is what I'm told was what happened uh, by other people. And they don't match. Wow. She's pissed. The problem here (laughs) is that that happens a lot with the Duggars. And this is what I was told. Wow. And again, you can do this with what you want. It's up to you how you decide how you feel about this. But Derek Dillard, I think, was very clear today when he went onto his his, uh, Facebook and he made this comment where he said that uh, Jim Bob is a liar, right? He lied to my wife and I numerous times. Contrary to this campaign, he does not believe in freedom, but he has manipulation. But his manipulation has resulted in what is akin to human trafficking. Uh, what? He, when he's confronted privately, he is not humble, but he is defensive and verbally abusive. When he says he cannot be bought, the truth is he has a history of being a sellout for anything that can personally profit from and will justify it however he wants to continue his personal agenda again he has been lied continues to lie and is the is this someone that you want in your whatever okay so when you have his own son-in-law and then his former best friend saying that jim bob is a freaking liar and then you realize that he's right there saying he what he has done is akin to human trafficking when i've told you before that the kids don't have freedom that is what he's talking about like the kids he doesn't under need Jim Bob's exactly control are not allowed KJ, to do so anything it. that Jim Bob doesn't say. And for some reason, they are able to, he's able to exert that control, whether through threats of lawsuits or threats of whatever, you know, threats of damnation, spiritual abuse, you know, telling the kids that. It- going to go to hell and their whole lives are going to blow up and they're going to lose everything. Making kids feel like they emotionally cannot leave or defy him because he has designated himself as like the prophet, the anointed one, the person that I thought Josh you know, was the prophet, the, the anointed one. Making them feel like if they defy the umbrella, their whole family's going to fall apart. It's it's 
that's what he's talking about with like the manipulation. And it's, it's, it's brutal for these kids. The fact is, is that not all of them buy into that anymore. And the ones that have left that and realized that it's bullshit are now dangerous to Jim Bob because they threaten that control he has. So Jim Bob, his daughter, Jill, who was his favorite daughter, if anyone knows uh, how much Jim Bob loved Jill, like Jill, what was that? Michelle and Jim Bob depended on Jill for everything. She was like the girl that was like the nurse. And she was the one that loved to like get the kids dressed and take care of them. She was like, <laughs> she was the caretaker. She was what like, was that? and she was the rules follower. So she was the one that would keep them in order and tell them they had to do things and direct them. And, you know, did you ever see the, the episode where they moved Josh to DC and Jill was like around sort of coordinating what everyone was doing? Like that was Jill, like that, they, she was dependable for them. But then she woke up and she realized that her dad lied to her about everything, like everything. And when she went to get the truth from him, he lied to her again. And now from the outside looking in, they see all these kids stuck that they can't help, that they can't get out. And those kids are all liars because they listen to their dad. That's they don't know nice. that they're liars. They don't know that their dad is lying. They don't know well, then that when they speak, them liars. they're lying. They don't call kids liars. They are also instructed by their father to lie. Like Jill was told, to defend Josh. Her know all attitude Kelly. Really she didn't want to do that off. interview. Like Derek flat out has said on his Instagram, she did not want to do that interview. She did not want to be on the show after that. She did not want to talk about it. They're going to go to hell and their whole lives are going to blow up and they're going to lose everything. Like Derek flat out has said on his Instagram, she did not want to do that interview. She did not want to be on the show after that. She did not want to talk about it. And she had to do that. She had to defend him. She had to forgive him. She didn't have right? to. She chose to. Because that's what Jim Bob wanted. But she woke up <laughs> and she realized that that wasn't what she wanted. And she realized she had been lied to. And Ginger woke up. And Ginger woke up and realized that she had been lied to. And Joy is waking up right now. So, and Joy has realized that she's been like lied they've to. all had a nap and now they're waking up. And Jason has one foot, one leg in the big boy pants. <laughs> but he's not there yet. And the rest of them are too scared to put the pants on. Okay. So another factor at play here is not only does he have the control and the power that Derek has described. He's controlling their income. He's controlling their financial lives. He's controlling their spiritual lives. He's controlling their emotional and psychological lives. He controls their information to the world, their access to, to what he believes is right and wrong and um, limits what they can and cannot see. And that's all mind control. And the thing is, is that what he's doing is what the IBLP tells him to do. Jim Bob Duggar is like, following the IBLP model to a T. He's acting in the interest of what the IBLP teaches him to do. He's like a Bill Gothard. You know, he's doing what the IBLP says. So effectively what the IBLP is doing is it's teaching men how to become abusive, patriarchal, like dictators of their families. And they start like their own little cults within their family. I want to know where she but what gets happened this with Jim Bob is that he got famous. And not only did he was he able to control his family, but then he was also to recruit people to Arkansas to move there. And so now there's a lot of people in Arkansas that are in the IBLP. She just loves talking about this cult. I'm telling you, she's obsessed. Someone today told me. Oh, I bet. That their attorney is someone elite in the IBLP, that Gregory Payne is a member of the IBLP at Josh's, at Josh's, uh, at Josh's, uh, hearing or at his, and Travis story, that's his law, law firm. So there it's an IBLP connection there. Okay. And then David Waller, who was a leader in the IBLP was seen with Josh 
daily, carrying briefs and boxes, supporting Josh, protecting Josh. And the IBLP is scrambling right now because if they lose the Duggars, the IBL the IBLP will fail. If the Duggars go down, they're the most influential family in that cult. They bring in the most people to the conferences. There's all kinds of people that rely on the Duggars for their businesses because of it. Like Terry Forsyth has a camp. That's Austin's dad. Who the hell are all and these And he relies people? on Jim Bob to fill his camp through conferences that are by the IBLP. So people, even if they want to disconnect from Jim Bob, could be financially ruined. Ruined. Because then they have to di- dissect, they have to disconnect from the IBLP. Ruined? So there's all these layers of control and of power. Jim Bob does <laughs> not have a, like an official like leadership role in the IBLP, but there's no doubt based on the size of his platform and his fame that he is the most influential in the cult. I hope I'm not and financially ruined. <laughs> so when you have that kind of control, fame, uh, power over people, it can make you intoxicated and make you feel untou- untouchable. I'm and lost. It also can make you they're taught to lie in this cult. They're taught to re- like they are taught in this cult. Like, I'm thinking at this point, she just likes to hear herself talk. Nouns, and they're not even told it to be what? the truth. They think slander is the truth. If you ever listen, slander is not the truth, right? Slander. No shit. This is as bad as she says finances will be ruined. <laughs> That's as bad as when she said <laughs> karaoke instead of karaoke. <laughs> that was the best. Oh my God. So you're not supposed to tell on anyone. Slander is false. But they describe slander as the truth, as gossip. So you're not supposed to tell on anyone because that's slander. But that's not what slander is. Slander is actually lying about someone. It's not gossip or it's not telling someone. Like they literally tell people not to tell anyone about anything. It's very high control in every facet of their lives. So Jim Bob has that control and it's very scary for people right now because when you have someone in that kind of power position kind of scrambling right now people get afraid they're afraid for their lives they're afraid for their financial lives they're afraid for their safety why go live if no one can comment you just don't know what can happen in a situation like that and then you've got his kids i can never do that that to my subscribers because of their indoctrination and their complete and utter dependence i like the interaction uh inability to think for themselves, incapable and sort of like, I don't even know, stunted and paralyzed. Stunted and paralyzed. It's not normal. I'm going to say this again. I said this in a video today, but I want to say this again because I know that the Duggars see this and I want people to understand it's not normal to be a 25-year-old man or a 30-year-old woman and have your dad tell you what to do. (laughs) It's not normal for your father to control what happens in your house that he does not live in. It is not normal to be uh, told where to work, who to have friends with, what to post. It, once Maybe you are they 18, like you are technically father's what's called opinions an adult, and they just stick and with it. And your father willingly. is supposed to allow your wings to grow and go. It is not <laughs> the job of a father or a parent <laughs> to keep a child in infancy and dependency. The job of a parent is to teach a child so that they can become a productive adult and contribute to society and to have their own life. It's not the job of a parent to control someone because children are not the property but of a child. But that's what you're doing like, with me. Children are not our property, period. Even though my son is my son, oh, she if I that. did something really bad to my son, the state would have a right to take my son. A state should be doing something about that. I'm not saying taking, but they need do need to look into her big time. Slander is false. But they describe slander <clears throat> as the truth as gossip. If I did something really bad to my son, the state would have a right to take my son, right? Because at the end of the day, he has his own autonomy. He's his own person. He has his own rights. 
what this cult has done and what Jim Bob has done is he has stripped the personal freedoms from his She has said, and I'm not the only one who has said this, and I've said this before, as soon as V turns 18, she's getting a conservatorship ready for that time so that he's never going to leave and he's going to live his life out in her basement. She said that word for word. He's going to live in the basement. He's going to be in a conservatorship. <sighs> she doesn't even know what the hell he's going to be like when he's 12, 15. You know what I mean? Like, who knows? Maybe he won't need the feeding tube. I don't believe he needs the feeding tube at all. Um, you know, he could eat on his own. He's She's making him seem more sick than what he is. The child deserves some freedom here. He deserves to be out of his house. He should be allowed to breathe fresh air. He should be allowed to do what normal kids do, not sit in the fucking house 24-7, KJ. Oh, she irks me. Children who believe that they cannot and will not survive without him. And that's scary. So then you have kids that are adults that are having children that can't even take care of themselves, are following his directions, and without him, couldn't feed their families. Can you tell me how this is normal? You have a 31 year old woman for every single person that tells me that Jana's doing whatever. The only reason Jana is there is because she doesn't know she can leave. You don't know that though. They have conditioned her to believe she cannot move out. They have told her she is not, she has no authority. This is to not move out. fact. She has been told that as long as she is not At married, all. she is the property of her father. It is 2021. Nobody is anybody else's property. And that's why that Keep is that mindset when you're thinking of your son. What Jim Bob is doing is akin to human trafficking. Our children are not our property. His adult children are not his property and he is treating them like their property. Again, keep that mindset. And then he threatens their livelihoods, their safety and their well-being and their spiritual well-being when they want to leave. And when they do leave, and see, I can see her like doing Jill, that, threatening me if you wanted to leave. to their family, and they are horrible She's people. that disgusting. When the son is convicted of crimes against children. Why the fuck the are you smiling, for lying actually? In court. That's that she lies that he punched. She gets off on Josh. CP. And that she's not doing that up, and it didn't really happen, even though. She's a sick son of a bitch. And Jill agree that it happened. Jim Bob is telling people that it didn't happen. And with the Jana situation, they are scrambling and lying about what happened. And they want to say that they're being persecuted because of this. And that's just not the case. If you are in charge of taking care of a child and your job is to be awake and take care of that child, if that child is found, that goes on a for you road too. where they could be hit by a car or they could have drowned in a pond, you can be child charged with child endangerment because something you're putting that child's life at risk. It doesn't mean that something bad happened. It just means that something bad could have happened. Like your negligence could have led to serious risk or harm. That baby could have been hit by a car and killed. Okay. You want to talk about neg negligence? So Do you guys remember when B had that severe migraine? What was it? for five days in a fucking row and she refused to take him to the hospital when it turns out the reason why he had that that pain is because his shunt had slipped in his brain and it was all because he's on his ipad 24 7 do you remember that the audacity of this bitch instead of actually just being the responsible human that most of us would be right so most of us would just accept it and be like yes i fucked up this is what happened they are so worried about their outward perception of like who they are because the IBLP tells them that they have oh to be fucking God. perfect. Shut the fuck that up. That they, they the will IBLP. lie and obscure the facts so that they don't look as culpable as they are. So his motive right now is to just make it seem like it wasn't anything and we're going to minimize it. But the problem is, is that the kids that are minimizing this, they know they're lying. Like Jana and Jessa know that they're lying when they put those posts up. But they don't care See, because their dad tells Even them Mama to says, put that um, The kids said they. She says the kids and don't I hope know you guys when they're lying. That it's now not that they I do. don't like them, <laughs> but they're adults being told what to do. They're thirty, almost thirty years old, and thirty-one, almost All thirty-two right, we years get it. old. Move on, please. And they're doing what their dad tells them to do, and they're minimizing child neglect. That should concern you. <laughs> that should concern you. 
And then when you put this into the totality of the Duggars and what how they didn't protect their daughters from Josh, and you think about probably all the CPS investigations there had, has been. So I did, there was an AMA, and Ask Me Anything on Reddit, of a former security guard. And the security guard said that John David drove, uh, flew um, one of Josh's kids to Texas to avoid CPS uh, for a welfare check. And it was around the time that the Ashley Madison stuff came out. And I want proof. Also around the time that the allegations she never around, shows like, proof. Two sisters came out. And they were trying to avoid the scrutiny. So I actually talked to a source that confirmed with me that that literally did happen. So I was like, okay, so that person isn't lying. Yeah, that's not proof. So um, they said. That and people do lie. She never has proof. That's what pisses me off because then I know most of this is all bullshit. That did happen. And they said that they did that because of the pressure that they were under around Josh's allegations. And that they flew him to a doctor who's in the IBLP in Texas. People that are willing to put their children at risk to avoid CPS, that's dangerous for the child. When you are avoiding accountability, you're ripe for creating an abusive situation, which is why these kids don't think twice when they start training their children and using blanket training. Their mom and dad have told them it's okay to use a rod and to hit their kids. Oh my God, it's I get it. It's biblical. <sighs> And they don't think twice. They think that they're supposed to make sure that their kids are perfect. They don't talk. They don't react. They don't have emotion. Do you know what the IBLP does to children's emotions? It kills their emotions. These kids grow up with no affect, disconnected and disassociated because they're not allowed to be children. They're not allowed to smile or cry. They're not allowed to feel sad. Uh, they're not allowed to process things. When something bad happens, there's no such thing as digging into that trauma. It's apologize and move on. And it's your fault because it happened to you and God's trying to teach you a lesson. No counseling, no help, nothing. Kids aren't allowed to feel sad because bitterness is akin to witchcraft. And if you get bitterness in your crazy. heart, then you're going to become a rebel. And if you become a rebel, God forbid, rebels turn into people that listen to rock music and then they get they get arrested because God forbid, rock music will make you want to do satanic things. <clears throat> when in truth, Bill Gothard didn't like rock music because he was a flat, like a massive racist. And did you know rock music actually comes from rhythm and blues, which was where originating from the African-American community in like what, the 1920s and 10, 30s? Bill Gothard was a massive racist, okay? And so wow, a lot she of just goes on about everything, downing everybody they've been told by and everything. Bill that all these things are bad. And they, they worship like uh, the Confederate people and they don't like equality and they don't want anyone to have any rights other than men. I can't wait till Christmas, honestly. I'm having a rum and eggnog. What are you guys having? So the kids literally don't have any emotional intelligence. They don't know how to get connected to their emotions. They don't know how to get in touch with themselves. I don't believe that. They don't know how to feel. And they're just so used to having someone tell them what to do, what to say, and how to think. Like every part of their lives are controlled. What they wear, what they say, what they eat, <laughs> who they talk to, what they listen to, what they read. It's a cult. There's no freedom of thought, of independence. There's no ability to be original. There's no personal originality. You don't get to have any sort of self-worth or self-identity because that's selfish. They literally say others first, God first, then others, then self. And then if you actually want to do something for yourself, then you're considered selfish. Or if you're a wife, God forbid you want your husband to do something or you're not happy with something that your husband is doing, that's entitlement. You are not entitled as a woman to ask your husband for anything. You are supposed to just suck it up and accept what your husband is giving you. And you're not entitled because entitlement is bitterness and bitterness gets in your heart. And it's akin to what? Witchcraft. Oh my God. And it's all fucking bogus. This is These crazy. Believe that all of that is going to lead them to hell. They're being held hostage spiritually under the threat that their lives are going to be destroyed if they don't, if they step out of line. Now that's the life they live. So don't idolize these people. Don't look at them and be like, oh, they're such honest people. No, actually they're not honest people. 
Jim Bob is telling them to lie and teaching them how to lie. And the cult is teaching them how to lie. I'm starting to think she's jealous of Jim Bob and she wants that, that lie. approach with people. That's the truth. She I'm wants to be Jim Bob feelings. and marry Josh Duggar. It doesn't mean that you can't like that him. That would be a perfect life for it just means that I, I'm being completely honest and, I, and I, I hate to break this to you. They wouldn't like you anyway. <laughs> they don't like outsiders. <laughs> they don't. Uh, they will judge you. So you might love them, but they do not love you. They want you. They're only going to like you as long as you want to join their cult. And if you don't want to join their cult, they don't care about you. I hope this is almost over. I'm getting, like, I'm done. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this goes on and on and on. In the chat or that are watching me, hit the hearts and tell me that I'm not, I'm getting Finally, this wrong. Like, tell me that, that I'm doing this right. Because if you're in the IBLP, hit some hearts and show me that this, what I'm telling you is not right. Because hearts. this hey, is their life right now. That's their life. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the chat just for a few minutes. I'm not going to stay on but I had to say that. I just want to remind people that just because something was one way on TV doesn't mean that that's the reality. It's like a school, eh? And TLC put on She's a show a teacher for you, and it wasn't being the disciplined truth. 24-7. Literally every single thing that you saw on that show was orchestrated and scripted by the show. These, this, these people wouldn't have done these things in their normal life. Like, all of the... All of the, um, you know, this the person in our on. chat made a really good point. They said, um, how are they racist if Jed's allowed to have a black friend? Let that sink in, KJ. And all of the places that they Four went lies. to and all of the things that they did, that was by TLC. That was not their family. So what you saw on TV was not the Duggars. If you would have seen the Duggars, you would not have liked them. And what you're seeing right now is the Duggars, okay? And they lie. Can you imagine? Okay, so she's saying that about the Duggars. We're seeing KJ right now, and we see her on YouTube, and we know damn well she's crazy different on IG, especially when she drinks. She's an asshole. So if she's saying people are different on TV, can you imagine what she's really like in person? Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. TLC is gross. And anyone that believes that TLC doesn't know and didn't know, not true. Proof for it didn't happen. That's what she needs to do. I want proof for every friggin' word she says. Yeah, we do need a show called Escaping Jim Bob, but we need the IBLP to not be here. They made them so much money that they didn't care. TLC turned a blind eye. Yes. This organization. Because in reality, they're kind of like... You know how people are always like, well, you never talk about what's happening in Arab countries and you never talk about the Taliban and you never talk about Sharia law. Ban the IBLP. The IBLP, if I'm being honest, should be like a terrorist organization. Holy crap. Because in reality, they're kind of like, you know how people are always like, well, you never talk about what's happening in Arab countries and you never talk about the Taliban and you never talk about Sharia law. Well, that's because what's happening in the IBLP is freaking the, basically the same. The women are treated identically. They have no rights. Did you know that a lot of these kids, especially the girls, had no education? Like literally, not educated, barely getting their GED. Yeah, they went to college. But according to her, it's not a real college. Okay. Yeah, he's like the Tom Cruise of the IBLP. No, their education is so, their lack of education is so clearly and visibly, it's so easy to see when you see how they interact on their social media, when you see how they type, when you see how they're, 
They have no social skills. You're they just have a no social hater. acumen. Holy, they don't have they social do intelligence. They don't have emotional intelligence because they have been taught how not to be any of those things because of the IBLP. <clears throat> You're a hater, KJ. Haiti. <laughs> You're a hater, KJ. A Duggar hater, big time. Okay, somebody just said right there that um, the Duggar girls play a lot of musical instruments like piano, harp, and they're very good too. All of the kids are in, all of them. All of the kids are still in it. <laughs> the only ones that are out are Jill and Ginger. And obviously, Joy and Austin are sort of disconnecting right now. But John is in it. They're all like, they're all in it. They're all in it. They're all under Jim Bob. Last night I was flat out set. This is what someone told me last night. John, David, Josiah, Joseph, Judd, Jeremiah, James, Justin. Did I forget one? They're not going to speak out for their sisters. You they're don't not know gonna that. Defend their sisters. You this don't is know what that. I was told that if they defend their sisters, their dads are going to, their dad is going to like disown them. And so they're, they're, they're too cowardly. Like literally that's what my source said. I don't believe it. Holy, this one's a really long one. eh? To allow the abuse to happen and not speak up and just because you want the plane or you want the boat or you don't, they're, they're cowards. It is cowardly to allow <laughs> somebody says here to happen. They and go, um, maybe I am behind, but you are. Why are you obsessed on this family? Not judging, just wondering. That's like what I was just saying. She is a hater, and yeah, she is very much obsessed. Very much so. And just because you want the plane, or you want the boat, or you don't want to work. Another person here. Uh, I'm not sure how you say the name. I can't really read it. I can read what she said, though. John David's wife is educated. She has a job as a nurse before they got married. And you've had, this is the other complicated factor here, is that they grew up where they didn't have to work because their dad was on a show and they made money. And so their dad would just say, well, you don't have to do this because, you know, I'll flip you this and I'll do this for you. And, you know, but they never had their own incomes, their own salaries. The Bates are in the same cult. Other people are questioning things in the comments. I like They're that. victims Good. of the system, but they have plenty of people around them that an exposure to the real world at this point, that at some point. You and have to somebody says that here, uh, Mick and Drew, John David earns his own money. I have no idea who the hell John David is, but I'm assuming this is something she's trying to hide. Uh, la, 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 anymore. Where, <laughs> where should I hide my elf on the shelf tonight? <laughs> We're a victim to the system, but there is a way out. And so you can't just use, I grew up in a cult, and that's the excuse. Because every person in this world has a responsibility to being a citizen of the United States. And so you have to accept your responsibilities as an adult. And... Um, People leave every single day, and there's people around them that leave all the time. Gil Bates is just a different kind of patriarch, but don't... All I'm going to say about the Bates right now, because so many of you refuse to see it, do not worship them. No Gil one's Bates worshiping on anybody. If anything, you are. He's a, found, he's a part of the horrible doctrine that teaches... To own that's her women I bet you property, think that's her next go to is the Bates once the stuff or stuff's done and promotion and the promotion of corporal punishment. Well, it is done actually. <laughs> Jim Bob is in third place. All right, I'll be back. What? Jim Bob Jim Bob is in third place. I have no idea what the hell that even means, but okay. Is this finally over? Because that was long. I need to stretch and go. Oh my god, you're joking. Oh, is this when she comes back? Oh my god. Okay, good. It's just a couple more. I'll do the couple more and then. 
that one and what? Okay. Or is that just a picture? Okay, it's just a picture. Yay! All right, then one more. They don't know that they're liars. Okay, we've already seen that. They don't sure know it's that to their dad end. is lying. They don't know that when they speak, they're lying. Oh, yeah. They are also instructed by their father. Okay, I definitely need to stretch my legs. Go for a pee because this tea wants out. Oh, and it's what? It's like 5 o'clock p.m. here, so I need to make some dinner. Hmm. All right. Well, that was that. So this is for December 15th. I'm almost there, guys. I almost caught up. So I'm going to try and get them all done by Christmas. That way I can just relax. Um, well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I love hearing from you. I'm going to do a couple more videos, so this won't be um, it. Uh, but in case you guys are busy or whatever, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.